Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. Today I'm so excited. We are going to be playing with all sorts of fun stuff from Rem Beauty. This is Ariana Grande's brand and the reason this video is happening is because Rem is actually now available in Ulta Beauty stores. So you know I was there on launch day waiting and picking up all sorts of things so I could come home and play with it and share my thoughts with you guys. So I do have quite a bit of the collection. I have have two of the eyeshadow palettes. Um, I have a couple of the eyeliners. Uh, this is like a cheek lip duo, uh, a lipstick. Of course, we have lashes. Some of these, these are interesting. These are like lip tint pens. And then I also have the mascara. Um, in addition to all of this, I also picked up the Hourglass Setting Spray. This is just the Soft Focus Setting Spray. This is something I've had my eye on for a while. And now that Hourglass is also in Ulta Beauty, I figured it was the perfect time to sit down and play with some new makeup. But before we jump to the video, if you are a lover of all things beauty and makeup related, I highly suggest you hit that subscribe button because I am also a lover of all things beauty and makeup, and I feel like we'd have a lot of fun chatting together. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss uploads. And with that, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So I actually have already tried a couple of these items. I wanted to save most of it for today's video to be like my first impressions, um, but let me go ahead and open up what I got. First off, can we just take a moment to admire this packaging? Like it is so minimalistic and beautiful. I'm so for it. This is the eyeshadow palette. The shades are listed on the top and then we have some embossing for the brand. I love how just minimalistic and futuristic this feels and looks. It just looks so great. Also, quick shout out to my husband. He complained that my background was too boring, so I got a candle, so I'm a proper YouTuber. Love you. And then Monsieur Monstera is also in the background as well. I've already prepped my eyes. I think we're going to start with some eyeshadow, but I prepped with my normal Fenty Pro Filter eye primer and then just the matte cream shade from the Naked Cherry. This is Hot Spot and what I've been using to set my eyes lately. I did pick up two of the eyeshadow palettes. So I have one here in the shade Go Go Boots. This one is more of like those pastels. And this was the one that my eye, I'm trying to figure out how to hold it. It's like all weird. Um, this was the one that caught my eye first. So this has just a ton of really gorgeous pastel shades. This lavender and aqua beautiful. Um, so this is really giving me like Y2K vibes, early 2000s, kind of the put a shimmer all over your lid and go. Um, I did try this one already, so I won't be using this one in today's video. I do have a couple thoughts on it quick though. There are six shades in this palette. They were beautiful. They did take a lot of building up, so I'm, I'm interested to see how today's palette performs. But the thing about this one is a lot of these are very light shimmers, so I don't think they were meant to be super punchy. It's more of that like wash of color. And I loved the look I created with it yesterday. Um, and I did do a wear test. I wore it for eight hours and by the end of the day, it was starting to crease a little bad. I'm not sure if that's just because it's like a different palette, like a different formula, the way it's formulated, or if because I was running around and sweating. So I am going to be testing this one out some more off camera. But for today, we are going to be trying Baby Doll, which is more of the neutral. So this again has six shades. I just shoved my finger in one of them. This just is like warm neutral, very basic. I thought it would be interesting to try something out like this because I feel like this palette is what a lot of people would reach for on an everyday basis. So this is what we are going to go into first. Up first, I have this Morphe M433. And I think the first shade I wanna go into is this light beige shade. So I'm just taking that on my M433. And I'm just going to start by blending that on my crease. Uh, I'm going to use this as my transition. Most of my looks are honestly very similar in terms of placement. I do a transition, a lid shade, something to deepen it up, and maybe something to smoke it out a little bit. So nothing crazy. This already is performing a ton better than the other one, Go-Go Boots. I think the thing about Go-Go Boots is it's just like very shimmery and um they're all like they all have like a clear base to them so there was a tiny bit of fallout nothing insane fallout personally doesn't bother me but i know that is a huge deal breaker for others so i just wanted to mention that next i'm taking a morphe m456 and we are hopping into this second deepest shade uh, according to the box this one is the shade 
Boca Mocha. So I'm just taking this one and blending that up into the transition shade just to give a nice soft transition. I'm just going for a very basic everyday look here. Nothing crazy. Can you hear the wind like rattling my doors? It's so frustrating. So I am just buffing this Boca Mocha shade, Boca Mocha. I'm just buffing Boca Mocha into the transition. I'm gonna find like every excuse to say Boca Mocha today. It's just so fun. That's gorgeous. Very, very natural. I feel like it's picking up more subtle on camera, um, but in person, I feel like it's a quite nice blend. Quite like it. So next I'm gonna go ahead and take, this is a Morphe M506. And I'm hopping into this deepest shade right here, Espresso. And this I'm going to be using in my outer corner. I'm going to just deepen that up a little bit into a V. I'm, I'm obsessed. I will be honest. I was a little bit nervous after trying Go-Go Boots yesterday. I was like, girl, this just ain't it. But... I think Miss Baby Doll redeemed it. It's looking good. I'm, not, I'm impressed. Next, I wanna try one of the shimmers. Uh, my goal is to use everything in this palette. So I'm gonna try this deeper bronze shimmer. This one is Biscotti. And I'm going to do that on my Anastasia brush. This just comes in all of the palettes. And I'm gonna spray this down with some Fix Plus real quick. This is just my standard routine for shimmers. I'm not doing it to make it work better. This is just how I do my shimmers every day. And I'm just taking this and popping it on the lid. I'm so glad I tried the other palette first and not this one, because if I tried this one, I would just have such high expectations for the other one. But this is performing beautifully. Uh, I'm just quickly blending that all together. But look how pretty this is turning out, guys. I'm obsessed. Okay, I'm going to go back into that 506 brush and espresso. And I'm just going to deepen up that corner a little bit now that we have the shimmer down, uh, just to blend everything together. This is looking fabulous, guys, obsessed. Um, now I'm gonna take that same brush, I'm gonna use my color switch real quick if I can find it. I'm gonna use that same ABH brush on just my color switch and then I'm going to fix plus it up again and we're gonna go into this lightest shimmer, uh, Sun Baby. I'm popping this in the inner third of my lid over the other shimmer we did just to brighten it up a tiny bit. Something like that. Nothing crazy. Just very subtle, natural. I do feel like these two shimmers are very, very similar. I'm going to take a pencil brush real quick. I think this is from e.l.f. Uh, it says 202 on it. Um, I'm going to do some lower lash line work. I'm going to jump into this light matte and then I'm going to use this second deep matte um, and just kind of pencil that onto my lower lash line. I'm going to take this cream shade on just a fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to kind of buff those bottom two shades together just to make sure there's no harsh lines. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that matte cream shade again. This is called Sweetheart. I'm going to brush that under my brow bone and pop it into the inner corner real quick. Let me move over so you guys can see my pasty arm, but this is Baby Doll Swatched and this one is Go Go Boots Swatched. Go Go Boots is definitely a lot lighter. It is more of those shimmers. Um, the colors I used yesterday were this light one and then these two. Um, and I think I also use like one of these. So this one is definitely lighter and takes a little bit more work to blend and work with, whereas Baby Doll is gonna be your more user-friendly. They swatch beautifully though, as you can see. So I do have two different eyeliners. I have a uh, At The Borderline Coal Eyeliner Pencil. And this one I just got in the white shade. It's called So Mod. Um, I did try this one yesterday and I feel like I had a weird reaction to it, but I'm trying not to take any of that too serious yet because I have been trying the Melt Gemini 2 palette and I did have um, some weird reactions to, I think, one of the red pigment shades in there. So my eyes are a little sensitive right now. Probably not the best day to be trying some new uh, makeup. But the other eyeliner I got is the At The Borderline Eyeliner Marker. So this is the uh, like liquid eyeliner. So I definitely wanna try both of these. 
I have not tried the liquid liner yet. So I'm gonna take the white eyeliner pencil and I'm just going to line my lower waterline with that. I don't even know if you can tell, I'm so pasty white, it doesn't do much. Just first, I guess this is second impressions on this one. This is not my favorite eyeliner pencil. I do really like the gel or like the cream liner pencils from ColourPop. They have a white one called Exit and that one is my holy grail. It's definitely not bad. I just feel like there's better options out there. But now the real test is the liquid liner. I'm gonna do a quick wing. What do we think? I have to say, I love how precise this tip is. It is so pointy. You can get the finest lines with this one. It's actually insane. It's a good liner. I mean, I haven't tried it, like wear tested it, but so far, just from first impressions of this one, I actually really like this liner. Uh, and I was hoping I'd like it because I don't have time to go get my normal liner before I go out of town. So this is going to be getting me through the next couple weeks in California, but I really like it so far. I cannot make my wings even to save my life. It's actually my toxic trait. This is the eyeliner. This is the look so far. I'm very impressed by what I've seen. I do have the mascara and lashes to try. So let's go ahead and pull out the mascara. They did have two different types of mascara, a lengthening or volumizing. I did get the lengthening because my eyelashes are very helpless in the length department. Um, and I figured this would be my best bet. Why volumize things that aren't there? This is so cute. This is what the little component looks like. And then we have this just very basic mascara wand. I know that these mascaras are normally designed for you to do several coats, but ain't nobody got time for that. So we're just gonna do one coat and call it a day. So this is what we're looking like. I'm feeling like Ariana Grande, like, I feel like her right now. I love it, I love it. So far, not my favorite mascara. Definitely not counting it out though, it is beautiful. I do have some lashes, let me pull out my scissors so we can trim those to size. These are like literally the scissors I had in first grade, like. She had two different pairs, one was more um, like thick and voluminous and these are definitely the more natural of the two. Not that they're that natural, but more natural of the two. These are in the Style Provocateur. I accidentally glued my lash to my desk. It's fine. We're having a great day. Something to be aware of uh, that I'm noticing is these lashes are shedding a lot as I pull them out of the box. And where I trimmed them, there's a lot of little lash hairs falling off. So that is just something to be aware of. I know that uh, that can happen with these types of products. Look how pretty these lashes are. I I love them. This video is just turning out to be way better than I anticipated, so go us. Now that we have eyes done, let's go ahead and jump into the cheek product. I got, this is the Cheek and Lip Balm in the shade Stage Mom. I only got one shade because I do have a lot of cream blushes already, and I didn't want to overlap. This one seemed to be very peachy, and I know that that is very in right now. First off, look at this fun package like it literally looks like an astronaut and then we have the product itself it swatches beautiful so I'm just going to pop a little bit of that uh, on my cheek and my nose it is a little stiff but it is also a new product so I'm not too worried about it when I do my blush I think we know this by now if you've ever been near my channel I do a lot of blush so that is why it is all over my face and then I am taking my e.l.f. sponge and blending that out. This is gorgeous. I'm obsessed. If I keep looking off to the side, it is because I have like literally six mirrors around myself because I am blind as a bat and can't see anything. And I have mirrors everywhere. Look how beautiful this blush is looking. Just the look in general. I think this is such a fun fun video. I'm so glad I had a chance to sit down and play with some makeup today. Last but not least, I have three lip products. 
the first is the, um, it's just a matte lipstick in the shade Tiramisu. They had a couple shades and there was one I was really interested in called Bubbly, but they didn't have it in stock at my store. So this was my second favorite shade and the one I decided to go with. I just have to show this packaging. Like this looks like a little astronaut. Like it is so dang cute. But Tiramisu is just this kind of brown mauve -y color. I think it's really pretty. And then I got two of, these are, what are these called? Lip stain markers. I've gotten a little bit into lip stains with ColourPop and their glossy lip stain formula, but this one is going to be very interesting. So I got two shades. This deeper mauve one is booked and busy, and then the bright pink is popular. So that is those swatched. So I think that lipstick, booked and busy and popular. I don't know what I want to try. I think I want to go for the lipstick. Actually, I kind of want to play with the lip stain. Hold up, hold up. Everything looks the same. Like, look at all of these. They all look identical and they're all different products. I think this is, this is it, booked and busy. So this is just supposed to give you a nice natural tint to your lips. It's not supposed to be very overwhelming. I feel like I did this completely wrong because this is so patchy. I've never seen a product like this, so I'm not really sure how it's supposed to perform. I do feel like it's pretty patchy right now though, and it does feel a little bit drying on the lips. So I'm actually going to go over this with the matte lipstick. It was worth a try though, and I'll probably be playing with those off camera some more. This is what the look with tiramisu looks like. Last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Hourglass Setting Spray. I did try this yesterday, and I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I didn't love how it made my skin look. Okay, friends, this is the final look using all of the REM Beauty products that I picked out today. I'm very excited that I got to sit down and play with some new makeup, and honestly, I had very low expectations for this. I know that sounds so bad, but just off my experience with the palette yesterday, I wasn't a huge fan. Now actually experiencing the products and trying them and getting to see like what's out there, I'm actually really happy with it. I think for the price point, the products are great. They're very, very good. And I feel like there's not a lot of makeup in that price point in between drugstore and high end. So I do feel like that is a very good plus to this brand. They have a lot of interesting products. I really like the cheek balms and I definitely see myself picking up more shades of this one in the future. And then also the lip stain pens. Wait, that's not the lip stain. And also the lip stain pens. I've never seen anything like this ever. So I am excited to to kind of see other people's uh, product reviews and seeing how to use these. I feel like I might have just been doing it wrong and that's why it was showing up patchy, but this is such a unique concept. And then of course, just the packaging in general, like all of the packaging is so fun and cute. I think it is amazing. That is all for today's video, friends. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video and chatting with me about some new makeup. Let me know if you've tried anything from Ram Beauty and what you want to pick up. I want to know everybody's thoughts on it. It's it's so fun to see like a new brand on the market and seeing them do so well so early on. So let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye, babes.